get back to the router we were on before and set up one more set of port forwarding rules. And this time we're going to set up a set of rules to access the PlayStation Network. Now I personally don't own a PlayStation, but I'm going to do this anyway just so you have these port numbers as a reference. Now the port numbers that Sony wants for the PlayStation Network are port 80, port 443, port 5223, port 3478 through 3479, and port 3658. Now I'm not going to set all these things up right in front of you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to skip port 80 and port 443 entirely. Why? Because routers are set up to deal with port 80 and port 443. A router should not really need a port forwarding rule to figure out what to do with port 80 or port 443. Now this may vary from router to router, but that's something basically you're going to have to experiment with. Okay, so let's create a custom service for PlayStation Network. And we're going to call that 1. And sometimes you don't want to have a space in these, so we'll just do like that. And the first port we are concerned with is... 5223 five. Five, two, two, and we're going to give it a fictitious IP address of 56 and we see here why these names are important once you have a bunch of rules in here it can get pretty complex and confusing to figure out which one is talking about what so these names are very helpful when trying to troubleshoot port forwarding settings. So let's add another one. PlayStation Network 2. And this time we have a range of 3478 to 3479. And we can use this little feature of starting port to ending port to take care of both of those on the same rule. And then finally 3658. Okay, and so there we have it. Now the reason I use Xbox 360 and PlayStation is because those are popular services that most people can relate to. But the fact of the matter is, in most cases, you may not have to be concerned with whether your router is compatible with PlayStation or Xbox Live. Port forwarding rules may only come into play with certain specific types of applications and computer games. For example, if you're trying to play a head-to-head -head game with someone across the internet, you had better know how to configure port forwarding settings on your router. Now, of course, I don't know what game you're interested in, so I use Xbox 360 and PlayStation as examples to demonstrate the ins and outs of port forwarding. You can then take that knowledge and apply it to whatever games you're interested in. 